Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming back at you with a chatty get ready with me. Um, since the last two videos were kind of just showing you things that I have gotten in um, the mail. Um, in my BoxyCharm or Ipsy and then a haul that I did for ColourPop. Um, so I just took a shower. Um, and I tried this new thing in my hair that like air dries it. I'm liking it so far. It's not like poofy or anything yet. Um, and then, um... Well, I let it sit in my hair or whatever. Um, I, like, did stuff around the house. Um, I got this in the mail. I got PR. I'm just kidding. It's not PR. <laughs> I got this, like, sample in the mail. It's from Garnier Fructis, and it's a smooth air dry anti-frizz cream. Um, and it looks like this. I got it in the mail. I don't want, I want to say, like, a month ago and um i've been cleaning um my like cleaning out my stuff and just getting rid of things passing things on throwing stuff out that's old and then i came across this and i was like oh i should try it um so i tried it today um i'm really liking the way that it's leaving my hair so far and my hair is like almost um dry it's like semi-wet damp dry and i'm really liking the way that it's coming out my waves are kind of naturally there so i'm really liking this cream i'm definitely going to check it out um see if i can find it if not i'll just check out their website but yeah this is really good i really like it anywho so on to my face um like i said i just did my brows because i cannot do brows on camera for the life of me i feel like they came out so uneven i mean as it is they come out uneven because one of my brows is like a rebel and crazy and doesn't like to do what it's told so it's hard to do them in general let alone on camera so I'm going to start off with my eyeballs um, and I'm actually gonna prime my eyeballs um, with my ColourPop no filter concealer um, and I'm in the shade medium 28 um, I did haul this um, and I talked about it in my last video um, I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. You should check it out because I have an addiction. Um, and I'm just going to pat it in with my finger. By the way, don't mind my nails. They're like chipping horribly, which is not bad technically. Um, I have had this nail polish on for I want to say like five days and this is what they look like. So I mean for like doing dishes and stuff. I broke this nail. <laughs> But for, like, doing dishes and stuff, and, I mean, I am a stay-at-home mom, and being after kids and stuff, I feel like they don't look half bad. <laughs> I mean, you're probably looking at them, you're like, well, girl, your nails are busted. <laughs> but I feel like they've, they've done pretty good for being five days, and for all the crap I do. Um, so, I know, and by the way, it's KL Polish. Um, it's Kathleen Light's brand. I love Kathleen. Um... Um, it's her nail polish brand that she came out with, and I like her nail polishes so far. They're really good. I think the only one that I didn't really like was, um, and I wanted to like it, it was just, it just didn't work for me, was, um, I think it was, it's Caramelo, and it's a beautiful shade. Like, I'm telling you, it's beautiful, but, um, it, like, didn't last on my nails, first of all. And then it, like, ch like, it didn't last. And then, um, um, it didn't last very much. And then it turned, like, really, my nails, like, it turned them yellow. Um, so the sun's, like, coming out, so I'm trying to, like, move away from the sun. Anywho, so I'm going to be using my ColourPop Double Entendre palette. Um, and I did haul this as well. Um, I told you guys this was one of my favorite palettes. Um, it's been given a lot of love. It looks like this. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good palette. I really like it. Um, it's been loved. So I'm going to use this palette. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade. Is it? I, well, it's this one. I don't know if it, like, goes with this color, but it's called Flasher, maybe? Or Locked and Loaded. I don't know. Maybe Locked and Loaded, Flasher. I don't know. It's this one, the first shade when you look at the palette. And I usually go in with that shade just to set my, um, primer 
or my concealer, if you will. I just kind of go in and I set my whole lid with it. Uh, like so, just so everything sits nicely on top. Um, I just kind of go roughly, really rough, um, over it. Um, so yeah, I feel like I look so pale. Um, let me move back some more. Some more. And then too, the sun's like in and out. It's been like really cold. It's been like really, really cold. And then today, I feel like it's warmer. Like I haven't had to turn on the heater for the kids. Um, so that's a good. Um, <clears throat> okay, so next I'm going to go in with this shade. Um, I don't know if it's Send Noodles. I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking that it's like this shade is this shade, okay? So I'm going in with this shade. It's like a tanny, it's like a tanny brown shade. I'm thinking it's Send Noodles. I don't know. I could be wrong. But it's this one down here. Um, and I usually go in with that one right in my crease. Um... I have hooded lids, like, I don't know if you can see, but, like, when I look, see how it's, like, yeah, that's how it was made. Can't really change it. Look at my child over there. <laughs> um, so I go like this, right in the lid, or above the lid, I shouldn't say lid, or crease, what is wrong with me? Crease, 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 crease. And it's not really my crease, it's, like, above my crease. Um. And I just buff that. Oh, by the way, this is the um, Alamar Cosmetics Fluffy Brush. It, it came in my boxy charm with a set of three. I love this brush. Um, so I'm just getting more of that shade, and I'm going in here, and I just really just buff that in. I'm just doing. Yes, baby. No, not yet, baby. Keep playing. Um, and I'm just doing a quick little look, something that I would do just to, like, go run errands. Um, I'm not gonna do, like, a, a great grand, like, tutorial. Um. Oh, poor baby. Are you okay? Um, I've gotten requests to do, um, certain looks. There was this blue look that I uploaded. It's, like, a blue-green um, look that I uploaded, um, on my Instagram. It was a picture that I uploaded. Um, and I got a request to do a tutorial on that. Um, so I got you, I got you. Um, I just have to plan it out. Um, because I, like I said, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids. Um, my oldest is nine and she goes to school. Jasmine here is four. She's not in school quite yet. And then the baby is about to be two. So it's kind of hard. Um, it's kind of hard to film. But I don't want to use that as an excuse. Um, I, filmed a, I filmed this video kind of talking about like life and stuff. And why I've been gone. And stuff about my YouTube channel. But I, I did not like the way it came out. Yeah, baby. I did not like the way that it came out for the life of me. Um, and then, like, my lighting was really bad. I'm like, I feel like you can't even see. I look so pale. Um, so, I didn't end up uploading that video. Um, so, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So... What was I saying? Oh, about that tutorial. So, yeah, I will be making it. Um, I just have to find, like, the time for it. Um, and, like, good lighting and stuff. So, like, to make out. Because my lighting is, like, so horrible by the, for the life of me. Um, I try, I'm trying to get this whole thing situated. Um, but it's a little hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit hard. Um. So, yeah, like, it looks horrible on camera, but when I'm looking in my mirror, it looks 
it looks pretty. Um, anywho, so next I'm going to go in with this brush. It's my Morphe M518. It looks like this. It's all dirty. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the shade right here. It's this like orangey color. Um, and I'm going to say that one's called Hard. I'm going to say it's called Hard. I don't know. I have to check online to see if I'm even, like, going in at these colors correctly. Um, so then I'm going to grab that one on this brush. And I'm just going to put it a little bit lower and kind of out here at the edge. Um, let's see if you could see a little bit. For what? It's okay. And I'm just buffing that in, like, right in the outer corner. And then slightly bringing it in. And then just blending. Going back in. Blending. Going back in. Blending. Going back in. So it should look... Like you can't really make it out. Um, But, like, the brownie shade's, like, way up here. And then I just brought this in to marry it, like, together. I really like the way that looks. Um, I've been doing this look a lot lately. And my sister, um, when she drops off my niece, um, which I'm not watching her today, actually. Um, but when she drops her off, when she drops her off or picks her up and she sees my eyeshadows, my eyeshadow look, she's like, oh my god, it looks so pretty. And I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not very creative in the sense. Um, but I try. Um, so I go like that and I kind of just build it up to the kind of color that I like. Then I go into the other side and I do the same. Put it in the outer V and then blend it in. Put it in the outer V and then bring it in. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we do that. Oh, by the way, from the background you hear Spongebob. They're watching the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Um, so I do the same. And I just bring it on in. Bring it on in. And this palette, it's the pure bronze and brighten palette. I also got it in my boxy term. And I just love the mirror on it. Mommy. Yes, baby. Mommy, this no, leave it alone. Um, so the inside looks like this. It's like bronzy. It's a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer, and I love it. And then aside I love the 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 mirror. If you're wondering you guys are like, we don't freaking care. <gasps> oh, Kimberly. <laughs> oh, goofy goober. <laughs> Anywho. So, yeah. And just do it like that till we kind of get the intensity that I like or that you want. If you're following along, which I doubt it. Um, so, yeah. we just I just built it up until... It's around the same. Um, and then for my brow bone highlight, I'm using this brush. It's by the Vintage Cos Cosmetic Company. And it's called Step 1 for the Money. <laughs> when I got this in my BoxyCharm, um, I swear my whole life around zero BoxyCharm. <laughs> and I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone like so I don't know if I told you but I'm using the highlight in here and this one is called afterglow and I love it to highlight my brow bone I love it to highlight my face um, sometimes I use it as an all-over lid when I want like that lightness right there I don't know if you can see that like I said, my lighting is horrible. It's all trial and error, guys. It's all trial and error. 
I'm not those people that like are so YouTube ready that they start YouTube and they have like everything, like the whole setup and stuff. No, guys, that is not me. That is not my journey. Maybe one day I'll get there. Um, so yeah, before I go ham on. Where did I leave my brush? Ugh. Before I go ham with the highlight, I'm gonna blend that a little bit. So I do that. Sometimes when I'm just like going for that, like, like that clean lid, it's just an all matte and like the highlight. Um, I'll leave it like that, or other times, um, I'll go in with, like, a shimmer. Um, today, for the sake of this video, I'm feeling a little, you know, glittery. I'm gonna go in with my Super Shock Shadow in the, um, ColourPop, ColourPop? Super Shock Shadow, Super Shock Shadow, Super, I feel like that's a tongue twister. <laughs> Say it three times, Super Shock Shadow, um, in the color Deep Dive. Um, and it, oh, I got highlight on my finger. Um, and it looks like this. Yeah, you guys can't see it. <laughs> it's I like a bronzy, glittery shade, but I feel like it has these glitters. It looks purple, it looks pink, it looks gold, it looks silver. Like, it just has all these, like, little micro glitters in there, and I just love this shade. It is so pigmented. My daughter dropped it. And I pushed it back together, and it's fine. <laughs> so I'm just going to go and put that all on, like, the center. Not the center, but, like, all in the front part of my lid, if you will. Um, all over the lid. Um, I haven't tried using these with the brush, um, but everybody that I've seen, they just apply it with their finger, and it's, like, the best way. Um, I personally haven't had a problem with my finger. Um, I I guess when my nails get longer, it's gonna be harder. <laughs> so I'm gonna be, like, digging in there. Um, but I feel like it's such a beautiful color. Oh my lord. A couple, couple. I'm just gonna clean my finger before I get it all over myself. Because trust me, I will get it all over myself. And then I'm going in on the other side. And Mommy I have a hair on my nose. Mommy, what's that making? Yeah, baby. Um. <laughs> let him build with you. No, he needs to play him out. Sharing is caring, Jasmine. Like that, and I, I'm bringing it into like a little bit past half of like my eyeball. Um, see, in the light, it just looks like purple, pink, gold, silver. Like, I love this color, and then just try not to get it all over yourself because this color. can get a little bit cuckoo like you can get crazy with this color really fast really fast my peeps so I'm just gonna go in with this blending brush all over no. the edges just to buff it out because you don't want any harshness And I go in a little bit on the inside because it kind of like the glitter. Ugh, I love this color, color pop. So yeah, I blend that in like so. And then we go over here. We blend, blend, blend. Then we go back in with the um, Morphe M518, and then we just blend the edge so there isn't, like, a line. Or, like, like the end and the beginning of it. So it looks ugly. Okay. 
Ugh, that looks so pretty. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. That's how horrible my lighting is. Um, see, it got in my nail. That's what I'm talking about. My my nails were longer. It'd be a mission. Um, and then we're gonna go and blend this one. So what has everybody been up to? I feel like I'm just like not really chitty chatting. Um. See how beautiful. I wish you guys could like see better. <sighs> no, 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 no. Maybe if I go far away. No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side because it like I don't know if I blended it away too much or I didn't put it enough oh my gosh guys I don't know if I if you guys did watch my video but I talked about how I placed another order with Colourpop and it should be coming in today I'm excited because I ordered um a super shock highlight uh it's a Kathleen Lights collaboration. Um, and it's so... It looked beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna get a little bit more of that orange from the ColourPop. Um, it just looks so beautiful. So I picked it up. And I'm just, like, dying for it to get here. Um, supposedly the tracking info said it's gonna come in today. But I don't know. Last time it said it was gonna get here on a Saturday, and it didn't get in here till Monday. Um. So I'm not really like counting on it being here today. I'm hoping, cause I really want to try out that highlight. Um. But I also ordered um. I also ordered um two more of my concealers. Because they had, like, this sale going on. Where it was, like, buy one, get one. Um. If you guys watched my video, I hope you guys ordered them. Because they're really good concealers. They're really, um, like, pigmented. It's like, they conceal really good. Um. Mommy. Yep. Can we call Ata? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, they're really good concealers. I really, really like them. Um, so I took a chance and I bought, I took the opportunity and I bought two of them since they were buy one, get one. Um, and then I bought the Super, the Super Sock Shadow. Oh my gosh, ColourPop came out with, um, sorry, all I talk about is ColourPop. That's so sad. I'm sorry, I have a problem. <laughs> So yes, I'm gonna finish the lower lash line um once I'm done with the rest of my face. Um they came out with um foundation sticks, guys. I was like, what? And I got excited. You guys are gonna be like, why if you didn't like their foundation? Yeah, I know I didn't like their foundation. But um their foundation sticks look really good actually. So I'm gonna go in with my primer. This is the ColourPop. All Star Mommy, Matte and Blur Primer. I don't want to melt that. No. Um, and I'm going in with this primer. Mommy, I've been using it. That. No, then put them away. Um, I've been using this and I really like it. Um, I, I'm about to place another order. Uh, uh, my husband's gonna kill me. <laughs> Um, because they have this, um, setting spray. I want to try the setting spray. Um, and they have a set. Because right now the, the primer is out of stock. Um, so it's a set with the primer and the setting spray for $18. That's not bad. And individually, they're $10 a piece. So, I mean, you're saving $2. You know? So I was like, oh, um, so I'm on, I'm, I'm on that boat. I want to get that set, and then what else do I have? 
in my cart. Oh, I have another Kathleen Lights. I swear, my obsession is real. Um, I have this Kathleen Lights um, palette. It's her Zodiac palette. It looks so good. Um, and I had it, I haven't picked it up. So I have that in the cart. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. Um, I'm just gonna kind of spot conceal. Get into this situation here. Um, cause I have like rosacea, so like, you can't see. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I have like rosacea. That's a whole other video, health related video. Um, and I'm going in with this brush. I don't even know what kind of brush it is. It's just this like nice little brush. I got it in my boxy charm. <laughs> People who are watching me are going to be like, do you purchase, like, do you go out and purchase any makeup? I do guys. I swear I do. I've just got, I've just kind of like chillaxed a little bit. Before, when I was working, he would, like, get on my case, because it was literally, like, box after box, oh. after box after box that would come in the mail. And he's like, woman, you need to calm down. Like, what is going on? Like, do you think about saving ever? Like, like we need to save. Like, we have plans. This was, like, before we bought the house and stuff. Um, He was like, I want to buy a house. Like, we need to, like, not be, like, overspending. And, like, I totally get it. Like, I, I feel like I had more of, like, an impulse buy problem before. More than, like, oh, I, I need it. Or, like, I want it. It was more just like, oh, my God, I need this. Something new would come out, and I was just like, oh, my God, I need that, I need that, I need that. And then the saddest part about it was that I wouldn't end up liking sometimes the stuff. And then he'd be like, you see, you bought all this crap. Because to him, it's crap. <laughs> and he would be like, you don't even like it or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but like, I donate. <laughs> oh, wow. What happened? I got like super pale. Anyhow, next I'm going in with my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in the shade da, 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 Tan. Um, And I'm going in. Where's my other fluffy brush? I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush. This is a Morphe MB1. And there's like fuzzies on it. What the heck? And I don't even have animals. Like, I don't. Um, so I love this powder. It's like a powdered, well, it is a powdered foundation. But I like, love this powdered foundation for like days when I, why do I look so freaking pale? Ugh, it's crazy. Because I'm looking in my mirror and I look like tan because I'm tan. Um, and I love this brush, guys. It's like super fluffy and I feel like it doesn't pack on so much product. It's really cute. What? What is going on? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do this all over my face. And set all the concealer. And then just, you know, powder myself. Oh my goodness gracious. My hubby's coming home today, guys. He's been gone. Um, he's a painter. Um, and he's been out of the state for about a week, I want to say. Yeah, about a week. And he's coming home today, so I'm so excited. Okay. So there. That is me all powdered up, and I look like a freaking ghost in the camera. I swear, no one's ever going to come back to watch my videos. They're like, lady, we don't see anything. Like, whatever you're doing. We don't see anything. I don't know, guys. I'm going to practice with like different techniques and stuff. I'm gonna get the hang of this for the life. I'm telling you I'm going to. Um, next I'm going in with a bronzer. Um, and right now I've been really liking this Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder in the shade Bronzing Powder. <laughs> um, 
And I've really been liking this bronzer. I can't, where's my other brush? There's like this other brush that I really like for bronzing. But this is my crown brushes. Let me get my mirror, cause, no. And yeah, I really like this bronzer. It has like a little sheen to it. Um, it looks like this. You can't see it. <sighs> Can you like remove your foot? Thank you. <laughs> um, it has like this sheen to it. I don't know. I really like it. And I go ham, people. I go ham with this. Um, and I feel like I'm gonna go a lot more ham with bronzers this time of year because, um, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I live in Ohio, um, and as it is, my vitamin D is low because of, like, my health problems and stuff. This hair, guys, look at how nice it's looking with that cream, guys. Anywho, I'm low on vitamin D as it is because of, like, my health problems, <laughs> And in the winter over here, fall, winter, their sun is, like, non-existent, guys. So, like, it gets worse. And I look hella pale. And, um, that's when I, like, take advantage to, like, bronze it up, people. So right now I'm stocking up on bronzer. <laughs> Ooh, there's this other bronzer in my cart on ColourPop.com. Um, it's one of their bronzers. I forgot what it's called, but it looks really nice. Um, okay, so now I'm done bronzing. I'm not done. I always put some on my nose just so that it looks a little bit. I love this brush. Next, I'm gonna do blush. I'm going to go in with my Pure Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in with this shade. It's called Blushing Glow. Blushing Glow. Um, and I'm going in with this brush. It's the Morphe G36. And I just kind of pat it on my hand. And then I go in. Um, Cause like I said, I do have rosacea, so I don't want to emphasize. Oh my God, you can see that little glow. See? Um, as it is, I have rosacea, so I don't want to like emphasize the redness that I like attempted to cover up with my concealer. So I keep my blush like up in this area with my bronzer and then it kind of all just mixes in together and it looks really pretty. I don't know guys, that's my look to each their own. Um, so I do that and then I go in with my other one. I'm going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of this bronzer because it has a little bit of a glowy to it. More glowy than, there we go more glowy than the pure one um like that okay see do you guys see it a little bit better i don't know i feel like i'm crazy sometimes okay so next let's do a little bit of highlight i'm just gonna go in with this highlight in here um it's called the afterglow this one in the middle. Um, and I'm just going to go at the top. Um, right there. This hair, guys. I'm loving my hair. I need to go and purchase this, like, ASAP. But it, like, pisses me off, guys. Like, seriously, like, I'll see stuff online. Or, like, not online. On, like, commercials and stuff. 
and I'll be like, oh, I really want to try that, like, hair stuff, right? And then I go to, like, Rite Aid, I go to, like, Walgreens, and there's nothing there for the life of me. And I'm like, um, okay, thanks for fucking, for freaking getting me excited. I'm blending again a little bit, because I feel like with the powder that I put all over my face, I kind of, like, buffed away everything. So I'm just going back in with that tan shade that I put all over my trans- as my transition shade, or all over my hooded lid, if you will. Uh, like so. So that's what I did. And then, I go in- Your child fell? Hi guys, this is my new baby. What's her name, Jasmine? Yeah, baby. Her name is Baby? Her name is Baby, and she almost fell off the bed. Anywho, <laughs> so I'm going in with this little brush. It's from it's from Luxie, Luxie brushes, and it's the 227 T brush. Um, I got, it's a brush. Um, it's I got it in my boxy term. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I love my boxy charm. okay? Don't hate. Don't hate the play or hate the game. And I'm going to go and use that all on my lower lash line. I swear. I feel like there's no way to look pretty doing this. Like, you're like... <laughs> um, all over the bottom. And I'm using that shade again, guys. That, like, brown shade right here that we don't know the name of because I'm confused by the names at the bottom or in the back the point is it's my favorite shade okay I'm gonna be real with y'all I hate hate putting eyeshadow in my lower lash line I don't know Just something about it so close to my like eyeball bless you but I feel like your look isn't complete if you don't do the bottom. Like, I feel like... Maybe I need to use a smaller brush. I don't know. Maybe I have to try, like, a different... Oh, my goodness. Did I burp? I don't think that was a burp. I think it was, like, a... Uh, like a... Grudge moment. Um... My god, guys, I'm, like, not feeling Halloween this year. Is that horrible? Is that, like, horrible? I feel horrible. I know. This year is just not a halloween -y type of year for me. I feel bad. I really do. But it's just, like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. This year is just, I'm not feeling it. I don't know. I feel kind of bad because, like, even my kids aren't dressing up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get into it, but yeah, so I'm going to curl my lashes, and I'm going to use this, does it have a name? Emite, E-M-I-T-E, Emite, eyelash curler, I've had this eyelash curler for like a year, I think, or more, I got it in my boxy time, um, and I'm going to go in and curl my lashes, because if you're like me and you've been wearing mascara since you were like two, I'm just kidding. Since I was, like, 13, my eyelashes don't have any, like, volume to them anymore. Like, they literally just do this. And they put mascara and they just do this. <laughs> like, they don't do the whole shebang like they used to. So, I curl my lashes, alright? I'm not a falsy type of girl. I don't know. I haven't gotten on that boat yet. Um, and I'm going in with my... L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. This is like my favorite mascara. I have backs, back, backups and backups and backups of this bad boy. Um, because it is so bomb. It is so good. Um, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I've been using this mascara for years, guys. Years. 
Like, I feel like L'Oreal makes the most money off of me. So, yeah, I love L'Oreal mascaras. Um, and now they have, like, my favorite eyebrow pencil. I swear, eyebrows are, like, a thing. They've been a thing for way too long. I feel like it was so crazy back in the day, you didn't even do your brows. Like, you do a full face of makeup and nothing to your brows. <laughs> and it was fine, because that was, like, the look back then. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, guys. I'm just going to sit here and do my mascara for, like, a thousand years. Because I love to pack on mascara. But I like, I love this mascara, guys. It's so good. This one's kind of on the dry side now. It's kind of old already. But, like, I use it till I get the last of the grains. Oh, grains. The last of the goods out. Um. I go like that. I go ham with the mascara. Okay, I'm going to stop there for the sake of this video because I don't feel like you guys want to look at me putting on. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anywho. I'm going to top it out. I'm just going to go for like a lip glossy look today. And this is my Becca Times or with Chrissy Teigen Glow Gloss in the shade... Malibu Soleil. Soleil? Soleil? Is it Soleil or you do not pronounce the L? Soleil? Anyway. And I love this lip gloss. It's so pigmented and beautiful. And it has mintiness to it. It smells good and it feels good. I don't know why I'm singing. Nobody likes this voice. So yeah, guys. I did that. For my eyelashes to dry. And then, my friends, I go in with my handy dandy. Nope, but I'm just kidding. Um, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I have this little mini one in my purse. And I spray that bad boy all over this face. And yeah, guys, this is the finished look. I have to go fix my hair. I was thinking about curling it. But, like, look at this curl, guys. But anywho, guys, that is it. This is my face. I feel like I didn't really chat too much about things that I wanted to chat about. Um... We'll leave it for another video. Um, so yeah, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you're liking down below. Tell me if you've tried this cream, guys. Tell me if you tried this cream. Do you guys like it? What, how do you guys feel about it? I really like it. I'm going to look for it. If I don't find it, Garnier, I'm coming for you. Because you don't advertise stuff and send stuff to my house. And get me all excited so that I can't find it anywhere. Alright? Alright. Um, but yeah, this is what I did with my face. It was kind of rough at the beginning. I feel like now you could kind of see, like, what's going on in my eyeballs. I love this lip gloss. You see that highlight? It's not like BAM, but it's there. When you can see how, like... I feel like I look fat. I have a double chin, guys. I have a double chin now. I need to get on a diet. So yeah, guys, this is it. Thanks for watching. If you stayed till the end, if you clicked out after the first two seconds, well, I'm sorry that I'm boring. But yeah, guys, I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.